Shalom and God bless my brothers and sisters. Welcome to another Gen for Gen, Watchmen of Yahweh, where we're led by the truth and not by emotions, never sleeping, always watching. I'm your host and brother in Christ, David the Landscaper Morales, and today is another beautiful day that God has made. I know um, some of y'all heard about what's going on around the world, everybody, um, well, around the nation, everybody, you know, an uproar, all the Democrats are an uproar. And they're upset, crying, and snotty-nosed. And some of them are coming out talking about they want to kill themselves and whatnot. And um, they act like it's the end of the world. And it's because, to them, Hillary Clinton was their god. They put all their hope into that woman. And it's a shame. Because if Donald Trump would have lost, it just would have been... You know, a, a, a shame, but um, at the same time, it would have been God's will. And um, real Christians would have just kept marching on because we ain't looking for it to get too much better. Um, we're seeing Donald Trump as just like that latter rain for Christians to be able to just, you know, gather up some needed things to endure during the tribulations. And um, it's bad now, but it, it's going to get worse. So, you know. Real Christians are not looking at Donald Trump as no savior, but just as a, a someone God is using to um, elevate his people and give them um, a revival in these last times. He's not Jesus. He's man, but he will make errors. But ultimately, just like King David and a lot of men of God who are not perfect, they will do what God, God called them to do. And it's going to be up to Christians to pray and stand beside this man and, and just get over this nonsense because the simple truth is, the platform Christians can stand for in this nation's political government is only one platform for a Christian, and that's the Republican Party, and that's as simple as that. That was the party that was set up by Christians to free the blacks and to have Christian, Judeo-Christian values in our government system. The Democratic platform system was to um, promote slavery, and it was a godless platform as it is today. Um, look it up. Democrats remove God from their platform only to put it back to save face. Now, with that being said, Donald Trump is just too real for politically correct people, politically correct Christians. And here's another example. <laughs> this is why I love this dude, and this is how I know God is using him. Um, Donald Trump said, this is what CNN reported in October 31st, and really they thought this is really going to bash <laughs> you know, bash Donald in before, you know, the elections, but it didn't work. We know he won. But what that really did was, I just seen this article, but anybody who would have seen this article and they know their Bible and they take the Bible literally and they do, done any Bible research, they know that the Bible states that the earth is flat, okay? Not a perfect flat like, you know, but more like a plain, um, a circular disc not a circular fear ball no but they believe the earth land mass was flat you know and that was just ancient hebrew you know knowledge concept based on what the our forefathers abraham isaac all the way back to um adam <laughs> believed in and that's in early christians believed in it wasn't until later on when all you know Nicholas Copernicus and all the heliocentric and all that BS and stuff. Catholic Church stuck his nose into the mix. But this was the basic knowledge, basic foundation teachings. It's not new, you know. And Donald Trump is just a wild boy, man. I love him so much and I'm going to be praying for him. But just look. Um... This is what he says. He says, I fly a lot, and I mean a lot. No one flies more than me. Listen, I own a jet, and I own a 757, beautiful plane. It's a beautiful, it's the best plane. If the world were round, believe me, I would know. And he's right along with other, um, you know, like Admiral um, Bird that went into the, you know, the um, Antarctic and, you know, the hollow earth and all that, and he talked about it being landmass over Antarctica. Now, see, if you if the, the world were a feared ball and you went 
past Antarctica, you're going to end going right back up, <laughs> you know, and you're going somewhere like in, you know, Indian Ocean or something on the other side, leading from Middle America, as he stated. But if you're flying on a flat plane and you're going out beyond, if you know, as in this picture shows, that the Antarctic is a wall that holds the waters of the landmass, just as the Bible states. And he said you can fly past that, and there's more land outside of this, this barrier. And, you know, he's just he's just too real. And, 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 and just the boot, um, you know, you can see the UN just flaunts it in our face as their logo. And Donald Trump, look, he just, and he tweets, and he offers biblical evidence that they that they think they're scoffing, but anybody who's a Christian is going to respect it. Book of Matthew. Folks, and the devil took him to a very high mountain, very high, and what did he do? He showed him the whole world. And that's true. If the earth was round as a fear ball, and he says, you're not going to see, but he's seen the whole world, and people want to just dumb that down. But just like if you elevate yourself towards the North Pole and go up to Polaris, what is the window of heaven that God peered down through? Through that firmament, you can see the whole earth. These were supernatural beings. This is Christ and, and, and Satan. They went real high. And he could see the flat plane of the whole world. Just look around. And you know, you know how you know Jesus had that 2020 vision, so. And then he goes to quote Isaiah. It is he who sits above the circle of the earth. And this circle is not as um, the word dura, which means a ball. That type of circle, but as a flat circular disc. I mean, we got to understand whatever the mainstream media and the government pushes, just like they push the solar lie that the, the sun is the center of everything. When God states that the earth was created before the sun. And that it will continue to exist after the sun. You can look at my video. This, um, Yahweh geocentric truth versus the solar lie. But he just uses scriptures to, to just prove things. And you got to respect the man. Um, you could take a look, you know, at this this video that I reposted by True Channel. And it's a very, and it shows you clearly how when, when you look at the horizon, I mean, it's flat. Boats and stuff don't just disappear into the horizon. It's flat. You basically just lose sight. You don't have the eyesight to see it. But look, it looked like that boat went over, right? No, it's flat. Zoom back in and it's still there. It's right there. But it ain't going nowhere. It just went out of your sight. So, I mean, we got to just know the truth, man. And stop being lied to. Because them dudes ain't been nowhere. They're still in our atmosphere. NASA proves that. <laughs> they haven't been nowhere higher than low Earth's atmosphere. And they admit it live that. They're trying to use this new. um This new device. I forget what it's called. But Orion. It's called Orion. And. They're talking about they're going to bust through the firmament so they can go to the moon. So they ain't never been to the moon. And this and this thing called Earth right here that they show you, it's photoshopped. It's, 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 it was made by a dude named, um, who they call um Mr. Blue Marble. I think his, last, I think his name is Simmons. And um, he made it. From a whole group of flat paint, um, um, flat plane pictures taken by satellite that float in our atmosphere, not somewhere out of this realm that we can't see. So Donald Trump just keeps it too real, man. Check out the videos on the GN for GN channel. You know, support like it's, he's just keeping it too real. He's using scripture, and Christians are mad right now. The world's mad right now. But real people who understand what's going on in this world and they know that everything we've been fed is a whole bunch of lies is respecting this man right here. And I'm going to just say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, protect this man. Wake up your children so they might see the truth, Lord. See that you're using this man. 
keep him in line. He's not going to be perfect, but he, you put him in there, you know, make him look good. That's what you do. You make us look good, make him look good. He accepted you in his life. Be the light that shines through him. And you know what? I rebuke Satan in the name of Yahshua. Hamashiach, he is a liar. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And I rebuke him right now out of the lives of my brothers and sisters in Yahshua, Jesus the Christ. Amen. I love you, and God bless my brothers and sisters. And remember, man, be led by the truth and not by emotions. Be a watchman of Yahweh, never sleeping, always watching. Shalom and God bless.